Welcome to 27th Mass Goyal Blessing. Godfather wants us to become like a holy swan. A swan is a symbol of purity, a symbol of pure mind and intellect. That's why it's white in color and mostly it is shown next to the deities in the Hindu religion or the Adi Saratan religion which is the real name of actually the Hindu religion. So God over here also says that if you want to please me, the Lord, then you should have a pure mind, pure body and also a pure heart. So let's see what does God have to say in his own words. God says, may you be a true holy swan and please the Lord with the cleanliness of your body, mind and heart. Three things. So cleanliness means having purity in your thoughts. Generally, in religious methods and devotion, we generally take a bath before we enter into the temple or the mosque or the church or the Gurdwara. We feel that we have become pure. There's a little bit of purity in that because you're cleansing your aura and water helps you to cleanse the aura. But then are we creating pure thoughts? Because impure thoughts will again make the aura impure. So that cleansing is important, but the cleansing of the mind is more important. So cleanse, cleanliness means having purity in your thoughts, words, actions and relationships. The way you relate to others. Are you only being friendly with others when you want something in return? Are you talking to somebody or being in connection with someone only when you want things in return? Or when you have some benefit from them? The color white signifies purity. That's why if you see in Brahma Kumaris, we generally wear white color. I'm wearing a black color, it doesn't mean that I'm a impure thinking being. The color doesn't make me think anything bad. Yes, I can be thinking impure thoughts and still be wearing a white robe. That also doesn't make a difference. So what has to change? Things have to change internally as compared to externally. So to be flawless in your body, I'm ah, sorry, the, your holy you holy swans are dressed in white and you have clean hearts. That's another third important point. That is, you are embodiments of cleanliness. You don't mean anything bad to anybody. You don't have any hurtful feelings towards anyone. You don't have any negative, impure feelings towards anyone, even though that person is trying to act over smart, trying to undo the things which you have done good in your life or trying to demean you but still you cannot be having those demeaning thoughts towards them to be flawless in your body mind and heart means to be clean this is why the body because see we have energy centers in the body which are known as chakras so the soul thinks something and you feel it so the feelings are there in the soul but it is felt in the heart but what about when the soul leaves there is no physical heart don't you think the soul can feel anything? Yes, it is feeling something, but it cannot express it because it doesn't have a physical body to express it. Only when the soul enters into a physical body can it express and experience different energies. So love is felt over here, but it is actually felt by the soul. But this is a feedback. Okay, I'm feeling love. So here God says, when he says body, cleanliness of body, it also means taking bath, that is cleanliness, one level. But what do you do with your physical chakras? If you hit someone with your hand, if you hit someone with your leg, then the chakras in your hands and legs are impurified. So that's what God says, the Lord is pleased with a clean mind and a clean heart. And all the desires of such a soul are fulfilled, imagine. So the only method to get our all our wishes, desires to be fulfilled is what? To have a clean heart and a clean mind. If you are doing something in the life for I, me, myself, then it's not a clean heart and a clean mind. Then even though you might fulfill your desires, but they won't be lasting very long or you'll have a lot of trouble in maintaining those desires. That's another secret. God says the speciality of a swan is cleanliness. And this is why Brahmin souls are called holy swans. So a swan is shown white in color. And a swan is known to actually be separating pearls from stones. Stones are negative thoughts or impure thoughts and pearls are symbol of pure thoughts. So Brahmin souls are such souls who only think about pure thoughts and impure thoughts don't 
become or touch their mind. And this is what we practice on a daily basis in Brahma Kumaris that we become holy swans and we try to remove the impure thoughts while living in this Kali Yuga. You too can learn this beautiful art and bring about peace of mind in your life with this method. Om Shanti.